In this enlisted sniper tutorial, I'm going to teach you the various shots and how to set up and terrain navigation. First things first is the ambush type of shot. This shot has you setting up the crosshairs in front of the enemy and firing. Wait for him to walk into your crosshairs. It's a little difficult these ranges, but you can see I set the crosshair up before and let him walk into it. That is an ambush shot. It's used to kill moving targets. When you are getting static targets, you just set up and you shoot them. No doubt about it. But with this kind of shot, you want to get uh, things that you know what speed they're moving at and line up for them. Now here we go. We're going to do another just a static shot right there. This is how the iron sights look. This is considered long range. Look at long range kill. And the funny thing is, is this really isn't um, a sniper. It's more like a military marksman due to the engagement range. M1 Garand. Here we go. Look at how they're at the top of the hillside. It's very easy to see. And one way you can tell where they're at is you can see where the bullets are coming from. Just watch the bullets. Also notice that I stay underneath this uh, tin roof right here. It has shadows and covers me. So that will give you some coverage and help you in not getting spotted so easily. Second thing is I'm going to show you a tracking shot. First this guy here. He's there. He's static. He's dead. But here comes this guy. We're going to track, 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 fire and finish him off. So tracking shot goes like that. You move the sights with uh, the person. And in this case, since the engagement range is so close, you don't really even need to um, lead them at all. In real life, you would lead them. Now right there, of course, we have to get back and don't expose yourself as long as I did because that can be fatal right there. I was just kind of pushing it, but that's another thing you don't want to do. Second thing, now if you get ahead of the enemy or your forces and you're scouting ahead, you have to do a lot of terrain navigation like real snipers do. You have to look for a good spot, be very, very patient. He's shooting at somebody else and I'm going to nail him. You usually get about a couple of shots before people know you're there. After you make these shots, stay in the shadows with a solid dark background and stay low. I prefer to get in these little gulches like this because I feel it's a lot better if you do this. It's not like getting up high. You don't want to do that at all. When you get up high, people can see you. But if you're here with the shadows in the background and you're on a, a surface that is not perfectly flat, it's very difficult for them to see you. Especially if you don't move and you just wait for your shots. Remember, hitting uh, moving targets is hard right there. I, I missed him, but this ambush shot set the target. This one, track and fire and finish him off. So you're going to have to use both kinds of shots. Sometimes you have to use a combination of this where you go ahead, track, you overpass uh, him with your targets and set up an ambush shot. This guy, I don't know why I didn't get him. It should get him or maybe it did but you can never tell, track and fire. This should get him right there. So this is one where, this is a good spot. You can stay down here. I'm kind of detached from everything else, but not lone wolf out there. And when you're detached like this, what happens is um, people don't know exactly where you're at and you're just basically shooting things. But these guys have figured out where I'm at. And if you listen carefully, you can hear the tank coming. They're gonna send a tank out after me. And when that comes, that means there, I killed so many people in this area that they're finally figuring out, oh, let's go kill him. Okay, here comes a tank. He's looking for me. When you see a tank, just get down low. It's hard for him to depress the gun. Also, if you don't move and you're in the shadows, it's very difficult for him to see you because tanks have a visibility problem. And the guy will have to get up on top in order to really see you. So be ready to shoot him right off the top. But in this case, that doesn't happen. It just gives up and figures I'm not there. But they come check it out. Somebody uh, told the other team that I'm here killing all their guys, and that's what they do. So just here comes the reinforcements. Once this happens and your troops have caught up with you, you're free to move on. This is if you want to use your sniper as a scout. I prefer to use the sniper more as a support um, a class to stay back and help people break out things. In this case right here, we have spotted a sniper. This is a little counter sniper activity. When you approach a sniper um, and he's way, way, way out there, make sure you, you put a lot of obstacles between yourself. Look for a tiny little shot like this. This is what I'm seeing. I'm just zooming in the video. There he is. One shot. Looks like we hit him and second shot. We took him down. See, it's a very small thing. If you can see him, he can see you. This is another example of a place I like. You get under this thing here and you're kind of protected from the random machine gun bullets spraying all over. 
and you're in the shadows. You can tell by the barrel of your gun it's in the shadows. Very nice, you can shoot people if they get by you. Next thing I like to do is get an engineer and pop down a rally point because you can get unlimited ammo. And with a sniper, this is huge because that means you can start doing all sorts of things like laying down suppressive fire and things. You don't have to be so picky with your bullets because you don't get a whole lot of bullets with this and reload is slow and all that good stuff like that. So just set up like this with a little angle so that you only have a small angle to shoot through. It's very difficult for them to hit you from many different angles. They can only hit you from one side and that's the side that you can see them. And like this and just continue to focus on the area. You should also try to find out where the enemy likes to come through. After you play the map a few times, you're going to get an idea where the good spots are. See, there you go. Track and fire and finish. And we're going to keep doing that. like Just like that. You can see another guy right down there and got him. So some people will do stuff like that. Keep in mind that bunker is a favorite over there. They spawn behind the bunker. They're going to go up to that bunker. Now, here's some guy there. This is why you don't want to be on the roof. Roof is a bad spot in this game because you can tell the roof is flat and you're not look like a big bump on the roof easy to attract attention but when you're in the shadows like I am you're okay here and you're even covered from some air attack of course bombs are a different story that totally unbalances the game but you just gotta live with that some days you're just gonna get blown apart and you don't know why anyway here's when you get a lot of guys like that you can just fire into the mass if you have that rally point and you can get more ammunition because you can just keep uh, popping bullets in there sooner or later you're gonna hit some. Reload, this is a keyhole shot here. Little bit. Got one in the alley. alley and there you shot. go. That's how the keyhole shot's done. You have a small shot that you can make. Very, very small. But it covers the lane out there that the enemy's got to come through. Now, sometimes when you get overrun, you can play rear guard right here. And when you're the rear guard, make sure you take lots of back shots at the enemy. Just let them go by you and carefully and slowly take those back shots. Also, keep in mind the person I just killed earlier, he will be coming back here because sometimes people have favorite spots. Once you figure out somebody's favorite spot, you can just wait around for them. And if they don't know when you who killed them, they'll just keep coming right back there. There he is, one shot. And the second shot, that's how the iron sights go, and I got him. Now keep in mind that after I take a shot, I like to go back around the corner so they don't know exactly who shot them or where it came from. They just end up dead, just the way you like them. So now we're going to go over here, and this is another example of a good defensive uh, room here. Now take a look at this. Okay, look at that guy right there. That is not good. Why? Because the edge of the building is flat and he's round. So it's very easy to spot discrepancies like that. Now here we go. Where do you think the enemy sniper is? Was that hard to see or what? See, that's an example.